Measurement is a third strand under math. And with measurement, there are three concepts. The first one is comparing. So is this shorter or longer? Am I taller or shorter than the child next to me? And then when you compare, you can also order. Let's line up from tallest to shortest, or from oldest to youngest, or from um, you know different ways. And so or, or ordering objects, let's put the biggest one first and then have the smallest one be last, or the smallest one first to the, the, the biggest one. So um, that's ordering. And then the third concept is measuring and just how long is this or how tall is this or how much um, volume does this hold so these are the three concepts that fall under measurement properties of measurement so you can compare and order objects according to their length their height volume or weight so these are different properties of measurement for different objects so how can you help a child develop the strategies to build measurement concepts and skills? Well, first, you can provide opportunities in their environment, giving them tools, um, giving them opportunities, asking them questions about how things compare or order, and then observing the child in their um, just their, in their everyday play and routine, and then uh, encouraging um, different measurement concepts and skills within their play and then also when you're there facilitating and reinforcing measurement concepts especially maybe if it involves like playing in the sand and measuring how much volume a certain container can hold or if they're doing um, play in the kitchen area just talking about how do you, how much water do you think that this cup will hold and then having them just incorporate measurement skills in their play and routines uh, using literature there are different books and different pictures that can teach them this concept um, or different concepts in, within measurement. And then using standard and non-standard um, measurement tools, such as like a standard one would be a ruler or using a cup um, or just you know things that we normally associate with measurement. But maybe you can use a pencil to say, how many pencils long is your shoe? or you, a ribbon or something else they can use maybe like you know those like those little counting beers and say how many beers will fill this cup and then so just different ways and um, to help the child to understand the um, different concepts and measurement attributes of measurement